Yo, what's up? Welcome to Footballology. So, this is my hobby. This is what I do on the side. I actually collect NFL trading cards. Anyways, the reason why I'm making this video is because of this right here. Uh, bought this last night and I'm opening it up today. So, uh, as you can see, Tops Fire. I've opened up one before. It was pretty cool. I actually enjoyed it. And so I just want to take you guys to the, the box. You get uh, one rookie jumbo relic card, so pretty excited to see that. Uh, another box I opened earlier was this. I didn't make a video for it, probably should have. Was this Panini Contenders? It was actually pretty cool. I was pretty pleased with what I got in here. Uh, I honestly, I would recommend this because I like the way the cards look. That's uh, one of the cards. That's what they look like, just a standard card. But just to show you guys what I got in, in that one for my rookie card. I was pretty fucking excited. Not gonna lie. Uh, here he is. Right there. This is a Mari Cooper fabric card. I was pretty excited when I opened that. Obviously, Amari Cooper being the beast like he is. I was excited to get his rookie ticket with the fabric card. And... Another card I got in there. I don't know if it was like a bonus thing or whatever, but I was pretty excited about about it. Where is he? Here he is. Dave Cole, linebacker for the Saints. I was pretty excited to get that too. I know he hasn't done much yet, but just to have an autograph card, I think it's pretty cool. Just to have one. So, with no further ado, we're going to jump right into this, uh, this top fire. I already opened the box, as you can see. Can't, can't help myself. What I got. Here's my rookie card. Just like any other situation, we're going to say the best for last. So we're going to put this to the side. And we're going to open up a few cards, or a few packs. So, according to the box, what we have here, we have 8 cards per pack. We got 7 packs, 57 cards in total. Apparently I left one in there. So, this is what you get. 20 bucks. They're both, both the uh, Panini Contender and this Top Fire were 20 bucks each. I was pretty excited. It was a good deal if you ask me. Especially if you get some quality cards out of the situation. So, here we go. I'm going to open up my first pack. Sorry if the, the, the camera's kind of shaky because I'm holding one hand and opening with the other. Uh, there we go. So right out of the gate, we got a Bo Jackson. This is tight. Like I said, uh, I opened these before, and I did one on my Periscope. If you guys check out for me on Periscope, but uh, I said I like these cards because they do do some of the throwback players. But the other thing I don't like about them is their. Uh, they look very animated or cartoonish, if you will, like they drawn on. And so I'm not a big fan of that. But other than that, I do enjoy these cards and I like them. Nice. We got a good Troy Palomalu. Obviously, Troy Palomalu being the stud safety. We got Marcus Allen. So I guess we're just getting all these Oakland, uh, Oakland players today. We got a Mark Cooper, Bo Jackson, now uh, Marcus Allen. They're trying to, trying to kill me up in here. Got a Cam Chancellor. Actually, I've gotten this card before, but it's Cam Chancellor. He's legit. We got a uh, RG3 Washington Redskins. Emphasize on that, on the Washington Redskins, because we probably won't see this no more. And here we go. We got a Super Bowl champ, Peyton Manning, because, you know, we got to have Peyton Manning. I want to show you guys something real quick. And my first book, my first binder, this is the first page on my first binder. So, as you can see, we just pretty much just dedicated to Peyton Manning. It's not on purpose. It just it just happened that way. But just all the Peyton Manning cards I have, that's the one I got today. And then now we get to add this one to it. And there it is. Uh, here we go. Another guy, Kurt Warner from the you know St. Louis Rams. Emphasize on the St. Louis part. But that's pretty dope. That's sick. Yeah, Nelson Aguilar. 
Snesson Aguilar. That's all I can say, people. He was supposed to replace Jeremy Macklin in Philly. He had a rough rookie year. Hopefully he can come back next year. So let's jump into another pack. It's just like, uh, if any of you guys out there watching this video play Matt and Ultimate Team, that's how trading cards in real life is for me. It's, it gets addicting because you're like, one more pack, one more pack. But uh, <laughs> eventually you got to say no more packs because this is real money and not, you know, just regular coin. There we go. Let's get into this next pack. Emmanuel Sanders, another Super Bowl winner. Legit. Emmett Smith, Dallas Cowboy, great. That's legit. Got another Eli Manning. So apparently it's uh it's the Oakland Manning Day. I'm gonna show, show you guys. Now this it's not the first page of my second binder. Oh actually it is. I like it is the first page of my second binder. As you can see, I got Eli Manning, Eli Manning, Eli Manning. Now Eli Manning. Now we have another Eli Manning. So, <laughs> oh nice, Arian Foster. I got stuff everywhere. If y'all can see this, it's just, it's insane. I got cards everywhere. But Aaron Foster, got AJ Green, what a beast. Oh yeah, check that out. Got Chris Kindly, Chiefs uniform. That is fucking sick. That is legit. That's crazy. Oh, got the number one overall pick, Jameis Winston. Now, see, this Jameis Winston card looks very real. It looks more real, just with a slight filter on it. And so what you notice is that some of the, the newer guys or the more active players, closer to active players, are more realistic looking versus some of the throwback players. There we go. We got Cameron Artist Payne. He's legit. I actually like him. I think he's going to replace Jonathan Stewart in Carolina here soon. So, all right, I'm going to open up one more pack with you guys. Then we're going to jump right into the rookie relic card. I don't want to keep you guys all day. It is Saturday. we got better things to do. Here we go. One more regular pack. Nice. We got a Deion Sanders. So now you see what I'm saying, how the Deion Sanders, he looks more animated or drawn on. But I still like it because it is Dion and it's a throwback player. We got a Warren Moon. Sick. Eddie George. Real quick story. Eddie George. Honestly, I remember my mom going out buying me NFL Blitz. So I played NFL Blitz hardcore religiously. And I always played with the Tennessee Titans. Eddie George became my favorite player. Had an Eddie George jersey. It, I can honestly say if it wasn't for Eddie George, I probably wouldn't love football as much as I, I do now. But Eddie George was one of my favorite players at the time. And around the time, the Tennessee Titans were one of the hotter teams, so it was easy for me to fall in love with them. But Eddie George was my favorite player for the longest time. And then got a Greg Olson right here. Legit. Super Bowl participant. Not a winner, though. Jordan Matthews. He didn't pull it out for me in fantasy this year, but I'm a fan of Jordan Matthews still. Oh, defensive player of the year, J.J. Watt. What can this man not do? Like, this is just, wow. J.J. Watt, a legit card. I like how it's holographic. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Matt Forte with the Chicago Bears. Emphasis on the Chicago Bears after the news that leaked yesterday. Or the news that came out, I wouldn't say it leaked. But yeah, he's no longer gonna be a bear, so that's that's legit. I'll take that. And now we got Trey Waynes. One of my my favorite rookies coming out this past draft. He was one of the guys that I really was high on. Unfortunately higher than Marcus Peters. Kinda of slept on Marcus Peters, but definitely a huge fan of Trey Waynes. Hopefully see more from him in the future. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for you guys. I wanna keep you all day. So we're gonna jump right into this Ricky Relic. And give me a second, I'm gonna put the phone down. Don't wanna bend the card. All right, so I don't know, I don't know what happened here. Well, I'm probably gonna lose my mind. So it says one Rookie Jumbo Relic card, right? 
and I opened up the back and that's who I see so right there I'm like I'm like my heart's kind of pounding I'm pretty, starting to lose my mind a little bit uh I have no idea what this is let's see congratulations you've received a fire jumbo relic card from tops 2015 tops fire football That's insane. Look at that. That's, that's Julio Jones, man. That's part of Julio Jones' jersey right there. Isn't it? Wow. Isn't that legit? That's crazy legit. Oh, my God. Julio Jones, probably, a, you know, top nine receiver now. He's a beast. Nah, I'm not top nine. I'm going to stop playing. He's a top five. Probably top three now with Calvin Johnson retiring. Look at that. That is sick. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to show you guys, share a couple of my card opening, my side highway, show you why I call myself the footballologist. This is what I do for fun. I look at my trading cards, and I add more to my collection. Uh, I'm excited, though. i got a got a Julio Jones relic card. It's a great day. Lamar Cooper, Julio Jones relic cards. You don't get no better than that. So anyway, if you're not a footballologist, go ahead and become a footballologist. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, this is what I do on the side. It's my hobby. Stay safe, football fans.